You've known for years now, you need to be doing video to promote your shop. If you're like some shop owners I know, you've bought the GoPro, the microphone, and a tripod, even though, yeah, it's nice to have, but you don't need that stuff. But buying it made you feel like you accomplished something. I'm gonna give it one more shot to convince you that you need to get started with video today. I'm Brian Walker, the founder of Shop Marketing Pros, where we do top tier marketing for top tier shops. And I was a shop owner just like you. It's been 15 years since I've owned an auto repair shop. That was in 2008. At the time, my phone was a Casio GZ1 flip phone. I had a video camera that used those little tapes to record and YouTube was a thing, but the process of getting video from the camera to the computer was an absolute pain. Then uploading a couple of minutes of video could take hours. There was a 10 minute time limit on YouTube videos then, but I couldn't imagine how long that would have taken even with our fancy T1 connection. Now as I work with shop owners to help them get their marketing dialed in, I often wish I'd owned a shop in this day and age where we walk around with a television studio in our pockets. At Shop Marketing Pros, we make a lot of videos. We video our podcast, we do live videos in our Facebook group, we send video messages directly to our customers via Loom, and the list goes on. But the fact is, the videos are almost always limited to talking head videos or screen shares where it gets a little boring after a while. That's why you see me in this video moving all over my house, our office, my shop, and I even have some planned where we'll be out in our community. But you, you shop owners have something that not all businesses have. You have a content machine. Every day you have cars coming in that have a story to tell. Yet when I tell you you need to be making videos regularly, it falls on deaf ears. I'm a broken record, I'm beating a dead horse, I'm talking to a brick wall, it's hopeless. Why? You have a gold mine at your fingertips and refuse to tap into it. You say it's unfair because the dealerships can afford radio and television commercials and you can't. And you don't realize that YouTube is the new television and it costs you nothing to have your own show. In fact, YouTube has been more popular than television for quite some time, since 2014, according to that article that I read by Social Media Today. People are spending more time watching YouTube than they do watching television. I know this is certainly true for me, and it is for my best friends as well. My favorite channel to watch right now is Trail Mater. It's a YouTube channel with Rory Irish, an auto repair shop owner in Moab, Utah, who uses this off-road record to retrieve broken and stuck vehicles from the trails in and around Moab, Utah. It's amazing to watch him drive that record down trails that many Jeeps can't successfully go down, and then he pulls the broken Jeeps out over those same trails. In that article I read, they said 59% of all respondents believe their TV set is transforming into an overgrown monitor for their self-selected content viewing. This is exactly what many people do. They watch YouTube on their large television with a Roku, Apple TV, or Fire Stick. That said, about 70% of YouTube content is still watched on mobile devices. I know what you're thinking. That's all good, Brian, but how does this affect me in my auto repair shop? Well, I believe you should have a YouTube channel for your shop and create content regularly. An auto repair shop can use YouTube in a couple of different ways. One way is to use it to show off your expertise, your shop culture, your personality, with the idea that this will make people want to become clients of your shop. The other way would be to monetize YouTube and allow your shop to support your YouTube channel instead of the other way around. But only a very small number of you will choose to have your shop support the YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm focusing on having YouTube support your shop and your marketing efforts. Google owns YouTube. I think everyone already knows this, but I'm throwing it out there anyway. Google's pretty important to an auto repair shop. Unfortunately, many people have had bad experiences at an auto repair shop, or they've at least heard nightmares from people they know. A study by AAA concluded that 63% of consumers do not trust their auto repair shop. That means they'll likely be looking for a new shop to work with the next time they need service or repair. Before I continue, I want you to stop and think about something. When you search Google for an answer to a question, how often is a video served as the answer to your question? Yeah, it happens all the time. Google is in the business of selling advertisements. They love keeping people on their properties because they can sell more advertisements. But their ads are sold on the back of content that you and others create. Combine this with the fact that video is the preferred way humans like to consume content from brands uh, along with the ability to win people's trust through video and you have one powerful tool to gain the consumer's trust. Statistically, you watch a lot of YouTube yourself. You're probably watching it now, though this video will be on other platforms as well. When you watch videos, you tend to trust the content creator. They've placed themselves in the position of the expert authority, and by watching them, you've placed yourself in the position of student. There's something innate within us that, unless the content creator does something to lose our trust, like appear to have a lack of confidence or saying something that you just know is wrong, we just trust them. When you build up a bank of content, especially video content, you become an expert authority. 
Russell Brunson refers to this as the attractive character. The attractive character is intelligent, charismatic, and people want to be like them. And trust me, they aren't always attractive in the initial sense that we think of the word. So if you're ugly like me, you can still be an attractive character. If you've spent any time listening to me talk about marketing, you're probably tired of hearing the saying, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. But I'll never stop saying it because this is a truth that will never change. Video allows people to hear your words and your voice, see your facial expressions, and decide whether or not they like you. In the short time you've been watching this video, you've probably already formed some opinions about me. Video is the most effective medium for getting people to know, like, and trust you. So what types of videos should an auto repair shop put on YouTube? There are really only two types of videos on YouTube, and those are YouTube shorts and then any other type of video that's not a short. But the content within those videos can be of many different types and have a lot of purposes. All channels should have a mix of shorts and regular videos. The, the shorts, they drive people to your other content. As far as the content types, I break them down into educational, promotional, and entertainment. Though there are hybrids like edutainment, where you're educating people and entertaining them at the same time. Many YouTube creators are making long form videos. There used to be this idea that videos need to be a minute or less in length, but that's been out the window for years. I still hear people say that videos need to be less than a minute or two or three, and I just give them a big internal eye roll. I don't waste my time with short videos anymore. They don't give me the information I need. The typical video I watch now is 20 minutes, and statistics show I'm not the only one that feels that way. Let me give you some examples of auto repair shop YouTube channels. I could try to describe how you could use YouTube for your shop, but it's easier to show you some already successful channels and let you see them for yourself. One of the most impressive YouTube channels I've seen for an auto repair shop is South Main Auto Repair LLC. Eric has built a following of nearly 800,000 subscribers who watch his 1,300 videos. I found his Facebook page before I found his YouTube channel. The thing that caught my eye was the engagement on his page. It's still like nothing I've ever seen. He recently posted a picture of a can of WD-40 and got over 300 comments. Y'all, that doesn't happen. But when you've built an empire on YouTube, those raving fans follow you to your other channels. This channel posts videos that are done in the form of episodes. The videos, they take you along and tell the complete story of what happens from beginning to end. Doing this style of video could be time consuming as you're constantly setting the scene and moving the camera around. But I love these videos because you feel like you're in the shop with Eric while he's working on the cars. Now, I suspect South Main Auto is one of those where the shop supports the YouTube channel and the real money comes from YouTube's payouts, but I don't know Eric personally. If any of you watching this know him and can make a connection, I'd greatly appreciate it. Another excellent example of a YouTube channel for a shop is Enright Auto. Chris Enright owns this one-man shop and has fully embraced short-form video. He's historically done many more of the entertaining TikTok style videos, but he's starting to do more regular videos in the educational style. He has over 50,000 subscribers and 400 videos as I shoot this video. Some tool companies have sponsored him for his videos. It's pretty impressive to see what he's done since being convinced by his wife to do that first video. The last YouTube channel I'll share here is Charlie's Foreign Car. This is an excellent example of what most shops should do. Nico does a lot of educational videos that build trust through selling his expertise. He's been building his channel for 11 years now and has over 3,000 subscribers and 163 videos as I record this. Nico has a friendly persona. His knowledge and confidence shine through in his videos. He's averaged a little over one video per month over those 11 years, which is totally manageable, though I'd push you to shoot for about one per week. In conclusion, YouTube is owned by Google. It's the second largest search engine in the world, as well as the second most visited website in the world. People are watching YouTube more than they watch TV. It's free to put your videos there. You have a television studio in your pocket. You can shoot the videos, edit the videos, and upload the videos all from your phone. Your only excuse not to do this is a poor, pitiful, weak excuse. And I'm sorry, yeah, I get a little carried away, but that's how I feel. Having an active YouTube channel, it's a great way to show off your team's knowledge and expertise, your shop's culture, the tools you have, and every other reason a client has to choose your shop over the competition. Video helps the consumer to get to know, like, and trust you and your team. It helps them to make informed buying decisions. It can also increase your average repair order because clients watching your videos are more likely to approve significant estimates. If you're unsure where to start, we've made a free video series that's hosted on YouTube. Imagine that. The link is in the video description, or you can go to our channel and click on the playlist tab. You don't need to give us an email address or anything. There are eight videos there. Focus on videos five, six, and seven. Don't worry about the others. Don't even watch them right now. 
then get out of your shop and shoot some videos today. I'd love to see what you make, so share it in the comments of this video.